Well, we've been working on this menu for about two months. Uh, about a month of it's been into production. It's five courses of food, five pairings of wine, and all the chocolate you can handle. We are at the Historic Ashland Springs Hotel. Each year we have the kickoff event. It's the Chocolate Maker's Wine Dinner. We've done things like house cured brisola. Um, we're doing a, a buckwheat chocolate sponge. Um, I made a chocolate paint, like an oil-based paint for tonight. We're doing pork shanks with a, a cashew and smoked guajillo pepper mole. Yeah, we're really pushing it. The idea behind the Oregon Chocolate Festival was we need to bring some people to town in March. When we started doing it from first year, it was 14 vendors, 300 something people attending. So now over 50 vendors and over 2,000 people attending over the course of a weekend. I paired up a um, majority of it with Scharfenberger. We have chocolate coming from uh, Tanzania. We have chocolate coming from Ecuador. We braised 150 pork shanks in the past two days. We've been in and out of our ovens um, with the mole. Uh, we're doing some plantain tostones with that. Um, and I think in that course we're doing the Ecuador cocoa nibs for the mole for that and then a little bit of Mexican chocolate which has like a cinnamon note to it. I am so delighted to have partnered with Quadi North, Red Lily, Dana Campbell and uh, Schultz Wines and showcasing these beautiful wines with the menu created by Chef Franco Consoli of Larks. Working with chocolate and food is quite difficult to obtain, especially with pairings of wine. Um, it kind of challenges us a little bit more and pushes out of our boundaries, but um, it's fun to execute and to really kind of geek out on it. Just you know, fully immerse themselves in everything chocolate.